Hello everybody, welcome back to Movement Monastery. I'm Francesco Caban. The channel is growing and those of you that follow me on Instagram, thank you so much for coming over here and checking out these tutorials over here too. It helps me out so much. Please hit the subscribe button. It is a dream of mine to be able to do this full time and we are on our way working toward that goal. So thank you so much for being a part of that. What I want to bring to you today is some simple tips for you, okay? This is specifically for your layout. Now, especially those of you that want to work toward doing twisting skills, you're going to need to develop some type of a layout to help that. Now, it doesn't mean you can't do a twist in a tuck shape. You perfectly can. I've seen it done all the time. But establishing a good layout is going to help you out a lot. So I want to give you a few tips today that are going to help you out with the layout. Tip number one is make sure that you look straight forward upon takeoff and you want to bring your arms straight up. So you want to shrug your shoulders up and lift up in the arms. So that's tip number one. All right, so tip number two is you got to be able to squeeze your butt, squeeze your legs together and straighten everything out. Now you can do this from a, a tuck position first and kick out to a straight position right after takeoff, which is what I usually do. Um, or if you have the ability, you can go straight off the ground and hold the position all the way through. But simply put, to do a drill for this, put your feet up on top of something, and then you're going to push your hips up, feel your butt squeezing, and straighten your legs out. So you wanna feel that this whole part here is squeezing hard as you're going through it. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your legs together. So, butt, <laughs> so you wanna think, squeeze your butt, you want to think, squeeze your knees together, so you have your adduction, and then you want to think, squeeze your quads tight. Those three areas are going to give you the most benefit for trying to get your layout. All right, so you can already see this is really difficult to do, right? I'm even making mistakes along the way. It's really hard to think of three things in a row while you're doing it. In fact, it's hard to think about squeezing your legs together or knee straight or butt or anything like that unless you actually are twisting because we all know that if we squeeze our legs together, we'll twist faster, right? So that's already one thing that tends to be a given when you start to twist more for your body. But if you squeeze your knees, squeeze the quads in your knees, squeeze your glutes and you squeeze your legs together, that's going to make you rotate at a more consistent pace and will teach you more about your body shape that's going to help you with your twisting. So that's why I want you to try to do that. And you can see I'm even having a hard time with it, right? It's hard to do it well. It's hard to keep everything straight. It's going to take a lot of time. You might only have to focus on squeezing quads one day. Maybe only so focus on squeezing your butt one day. Maybe only focus on squeezing your legs together one day, right? You have to break that down into training cycles so you can actually progress properly. It's too much for the brain to think of it all at once. Now, moving on from that, okay, you're gonna be able to start doing more twisting skills if you have your layout done well, right? And hopefully soon I will have a trampoline, like a big one, so I can demonstrate this stuff a little bit easier. But this is the setup that I have right now. And I know it's difficult for some people to realize how this works, but if you do have a phone, you have a camera, and you're able to do it in slow motion, you can make these corrections for yourself and you can teach yourself. So just keep that in mind. That is all part of this journey as well, all right? That's the tip that I have for you today. Okay, tune in next time. Make sure to subscribe, hit that bell, and I'll see you all later.